Hey guys, it's Nick from F150LEDs.com. Today we've got our 21 Ford Bronco here in the shop and we're going to show you how easy it is to install our 180 watt pre paladin LED bar here right on your modular bumper. It's extremely easy. This thing looks fantastic whether it's on or off and it produces a ton of light. These Cree chips are capable of over 22,000 raw lumens. So they're definitely going to turn the night to day in front of you. So let's show you how easy it is to install right now. Before we jump into it, please take a quick second to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps other Ford owners just like you find our content. Thanks, we really appreciate your support. So the first thing that we need to do is simply remove these two accessory ready Torx 40 Plus bolts here from our modular bumper. Now make sure that you're using a Torx 40 Plus bit, not the standard Torx, Torx 40, or else you're going to end up with some uh, threading issues and a headache. Now that we've got our bolts removed, we'll be able to mount our custom fit brackets. So you're just going to set it right over the hole and then replace our Torx 40 plus OEM bolt here. And you're going to want to basically tighten to about 80%. That'll give us a little bit of room as we uh, mount our bar and then we'll come back and tighten 100% after that. So now that we've got about hand tight, we'll repeat for the other side. Okay, now we're ready to mount our 180 watt Paladin bar here. So we're just gonna hand tighten our outside bolts through our new brackets. Again, about 80%. So now we'll repeat for the other side. Make sure that you're using your washer and lock washer as well. Now that we've got our Torx 40 bolts, as well as our um, bar mount bolts here, about 80%, you'll be able to kind of make sure that your bar is positioned uh, right in the center of your grill. And then we'll be able to come back and uh, tighten our bar mount brackets all the way, and then we can tighten our Torx 40 plus bits all the way. With our bar mounted, now let's push our harness here up under this valence, lift up just a little bit, and then we'll run it through there, and then we'll be able to open the engine bay and access the harness so we can hook it up for power. Now let's open up the hood so that we can gain access to the battery and connect our harness for the bar. Now let's take the IP68 waterproof connector from your harness side, and we're going to run it down an opening here on the driver's side of the fender so that we can connect it underneath to our bumper bar. As you can see, it comes right out the bottom and we'll be able to connect it right to our harness here. So take your IP68 connectors, make sure that you line up the tab here at the top and just push in firmly, make sure they're seated all the way. And then we're gonna bring our uh, lock ring collar and thread it all the way down and that's going to compress those rubber seals and make sure that we've got a fully waterproof connection. Now we are ready to hook up our harness for power. Okay, now let's hook up our harness to our positive and ground terminals of our battery. So you can flip this cover up and that's going to reveal your positive terminals. So we're just going to remove this bolt here on this block. using a, it's a size 10 millimeter socket. I'm going to put our, the red ring terminal on the positive side. And then make sure that we fully tighten it. Like so now we'll do the same over on this side of the battery for our negative terminal. We 
again, you wanna make sure that these bolts are fully tightened. You don't want these to be shaken loose. And once we've got both these ring terminals fully tightened and installed on your battery, we'll be able to uh, hook up to uh, the aux switch on this Bronco. This Bronco is equipped with the aux switches, so that's how we're gonna connect our harness. You also have the option to use the wireless uh, receiver in addition to the aux switch. Now, if your Bronco doesn't have aux switches, you can use our uh, in-dash cab switch or solely the wireless. But in this case, we're gonna just use the aux switch. So what you do, you come to your aux switch connection bundle here, and we're gonna use switch two, which on this uh, Bronco is uh, green with a brown stripe. It's gonna be a 15 amp switch. So and we're gonna be using this easy quick splice connector to make the connection uh, from our harness side, this blue wire, to the wire we selected here in our bundle. So we're just gonna run this wire through the edge of our quick splice connector so that it is inside the outer channel there. And then we're going to run this blue wire here in this open channel on the back side of the uh, quick splice connector. Okay, so just you'll insert it all the way, making sure that it passes this metal uh, tab, like so. And then you're just gonna grab uh, some pliers and firm pressure down on that metal tab. And it's gonna pierce both wires and basically connect them together and make a circuit. And that's all there is to hooking up our harness and connecting to your aux switch system. Okay guys, that's all there is to installing our 180 watt Cree XTE LED bar here on the, your modular bumper of your 21 and up Ford Bronco. We highly recommend it. It looks fantastic. Again, whether the light is on or off and it is extremely bright. The camera can't capture how bright this thing is, but we guarantee you're gonna love it. Check us out at F150LEDs.com where you'll find all of our custom built LED products for your Ford Bronco as well as all of our F-150 and Super Duty owners. We truly appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you there. Thanks guys.